Hi, my name's Mr Sims. I'm the Key Stage 4 lead for Maths at Torbridge High and I wanted to talk to you about how your child can use Hegarty Maths to support their learning. So the website is hegartymaths.com. When students access the website, they will see this page and they will click on student login at the top. Now, first of all, they'll put in their name, then their surname and their date of birth. Once they enter this, if it's the first time they've logged in, they can then create their password. If they've logged in before, it will then take them straight to putting in that password which they've created already. If they forget their password, then they can ask their maths teacher to reset it and it will take them back to this screen where they start again with name and date of birth. Once they're into Hegarty Maths, they will see a page that looks like this. Now there's a summary screen on here, but the key thing is at the top, there's the My Tasks button. If they click on My Tasks, it will come to a screen that looks like this, and any tasks that have been set for them will be on there. They can then click the green Start Task button to have a go at that task. So what will that look like once they've clicked on that? Now, a Hegarty homework has two elements. It has a video and it has a quiz. So this is the screen they will see. This is an example of a perimeter one. There is the video on the left and then the quiz on the right. So start with the video. So they will watch the video. And whilst they're watching the video, they can pause it and make notes in their learning journal. So we would expect them to write down any keywords or any formula or any worked examples. And there's an example here of notes a student's made from the video. You'll see there's a title and a date at the top and then the notes underneath and the student has highlighted any key points. Secondly, once they've watched the video, they will have a go at the quiz. So they click on the quiz and then they will write down their workings to the quiz questions in their learning journal underneath the notes they've made from the video. So again, there's an example here, little title of quiz and then any workings and their answer. They can then put their answer in on the website and then that tells them whether it's correct or not and they can then mark it in their books. There's some examples here of work that students have done, which I'll just scroll through. Whilst I'm doing that, just to say students can access this on any device which has access to the internet. So they can do it on a phone, a tablet or a computer. So, what to do if your child's stuck on their home learning? Now, they could always watch the video again. Quite often, looking back over the video will give a recap of what they need to do, and that will help them. But also, there's the building blocks section underneath, which goes deeper into some of the topics, and that may also help if students are stuck. Whilst they're doing the quiz, there's a little watch video button on the right, which you can see circled in red here. If they're to click on that, that will take them to the part of the video, which is similar to the question they're looking at and give them the worked example again that relates to that question. So again, that might be of help if they are stuck. And then what else could they do if they've completed all their homework? How else could Hegarty be used? Well, on the front screen, there's the summary page, which we saw earlier on. There's the, the sort of donut shape at the bottom right, which is a summary of their performance. So the red section are the topics which students struggled on and didn't do as well on with their quiz. And it remembers these, so they could always click on the red section and they could go back and re-look at some of the topics they've done previously and not done so well on. The second thing that they can do is at the top, there's a Fix Up 5 button next to the My Tasks. 
you'll see it coloured in yellow here. This is where the Hegarty Maths remembers the mistakes that children have made and it generates a quiz with five different parts of maths that they've struggled on. And that, again, is something extra which could be done. So just to summar summarise how we use Hegarty Maths, this is the routine. So children in year seven, eight or nine will be set one piece of Hegarty Maths a week, and years 10 and 11 will be set two pieces a week. The teacher will choose the topic and that will be set for them so they'll see that on the My Tasks button when they log on. They'd be expected to spend at least 20 minutes on this homework and then just the points on number four here that we've covered, they would do both elements, they'd watch the video and take notes and then do the quiz with the workings and they will mark that as they go and they can record their score at the end. And the teachers will be looking at this, they'll be looking at the work that's done online to see the scores and how much of the video has been watched, and also looking at the work done in the learning journals. Okay, thanks for listening. I hope this helps. Bye.